This is one of the best chicken biryani that you're gonna try. Hey Salam, I hope you guys are well. Halal Chef is back with another video and this time I'm making chicken biryani. Now normally you would cook the biryani along with your chicken or your meat. I thought Ramadan is coming, let's do it a bit differently. I'm gonna cook the biryani in a way where the chicken and the rice will be cooked separately. We are still gonna use all the authentic spices and ingredients. I'm gonna serve the biryani with a really nice mint pomegranate sauce. Without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start with the rice. I'm using a Sela Basmati. You could also use normal Basmati rice, preferably aged Basmati. I will leave your links down below, so check them out. You wanna soak up the rice in lukewarm water for at least 90 minutes if using Sela Basmati. If using normal Basmati, that should take you around 30 minutes. And once you're done with soaking, wash a few times to remove the excess starch and drain off the excess water. For our biryani spice, in with the coriander seeds, in with the fennel seeds, white cumin seeds, some of these black cumin seeds as well, also known as Persian cumin. A few green cardamoms, black cardamoms, Mums, few cloves. Here I've got a small mace which are the outskirts of nutmeg. A small piece of nutmeg as well. Few bay leaves. A small piece of cassia bark. Black peppercorns. Half a star anise. And finally I'm using here a mix of Kashmiri and normal red chilies. You could add more if you like a bit more heat in the biryani. Now transfer the spices onto a pan and toast them. This will awaken your spices you know and release all the beautiful aroma and they will be easier to blend. Toast them for around two minutes on medium high heat. Now transfer the spices into a blender. Now with the citric acid, turmeric. Now cover and blend this until it turns into a fine powder. We will add the salt later and it really depends on how much chicken and rice you are using. Alright guys, let's check this. That looks amazing. And finally we're gonna throw in some of these dried plums. Our amazing biryani spice mix. Done. Now just set aside for later use. You will also need to use some of these whole spices separately. Now for the marinade, in with the yogurt, in with the fresh ginger garlic paste. Some of this plum paste. It with some of the biryani spice. Freshly grounded black pepper. Salt, a bit of this red or orange food color which is optional. And finally in with the good touch of oil. Now give this a really good mix. For the chicken I'm using legs, you could also use a full chicken. If you notice I've given a few cuts to the chicken so we can marinate it properly down to the bone. Now give this a really good mix. We should stuff those curds with the marinade. Trust me, this is one of the best chicken biryani that you're gonna try. Now leave the chicken to marinate in the fridge for a few hours. Let the chicken absorb those flavors. And now for the biryani mixture, thinly slice some of the onions. You will also need to use fresh paste of ginger, garlic, green chili. Some of these lemon slices, chopped coriander and mint. In a small bowl, add some saffron, some of this food color, and some of this caver essence. Give that a mix and set aside. Or right, let's grab everything. You will also need to use tomatoes and some of this yogurt. And right, let's get cooking. First of all, we're gonna start with the chicken. And as I mentioned, we're gonna cook the chicken separately. Or right, so grab your marinated chicken. Now this chicken is at room temperature. You wanna take it out from the fridge at least 20 to 30 minutes before you start cooking it. Now grab your baking tray and we're gonna start placing the chicken onto there. Add the leftover marinade onto there. Season with a light touch of salt and pepper. And finally spray it with a light touch of oil. Now this goes into a preheated oven at 210 Celsius until the internal temperature is reached 75 Celsius or 165 Fahrenheit. Always keep an eye on the chicken and you can brush it with the leftover marinade while it's in the oven. Alright, let's cook our biryani. Turn up the heat to around medium. It with a really good touch of oil. We need this oil because we're cooking a large portion of rice. Oh man, I'm so ready for this. When the oil is nice and hot, with the onions. We're looking for a golden brown color on these onions. I'm gonna leave it covered for a few minutes so we can soften up those onions. And once you have this beautiful color in with your ginger garlic green chili paste, give this a really good mix. You want to cook the rawness of that paste, give it another two minutes. If anything is burning or sticky to the pan, you can always deglaze with a touch of water. We need to make sure everything is cooked to perfection from the start to the end. Now in with your chopped tomatoes. Again, give this a mix. Leave it covered so we can soften up those tomatoes. Best time to throw in our biryani spice, our whole spices as well, and our salt. A light touch of water in there. 
A really good mix to that and cook the rawness of the spices. You want to nicely toast those spices. And now with the yogurt, give that a mix. You want to let this cook until the yogurt separates from the oil. Or you can see now the oil is separated from the mixture. Now in with our chicken stock. Give that a mix and bring it to simmer. Also, this is the best time to check for any seasoning. Get just the salt if you need to. And I slowly throw in your rice. Give that a mix. And now you want to let this cook until there's some water left. It's best to leave it covered. Alright guys, you can see there's some water left. At this point of time, I'm just going to add our saffron water on the top. Add some of the fresh mint. And of course some coriander. Our lemon slices. And some of these crispy onions. Just here on the top. On a place a clean kitchen cloth on the top, place your lid and you want to let this steam up for around 13 to 15 minutes on low heat. Now for our mint pomegranate sauce, grab yourself a blender in with the mint leaves, some of this fresh coriander as well, two green chilies you can add more if you like, and with the dried pomegranate seeds, dried mango powder, some of the sugar to remove any bitterness. And finally with a touch of water so we can blend this and get a nice and smooth consistency. Now cover and blend this until nice and smooth. Now add some yogurt in a bowl, here with your mint mixture and finally some salt to taste. This is a real good mix. Now you could add more or less yogurt depending on your liking but this is perfect. Now have a little taste and adjust any seasoning if you need to. Our amazing mint pomegranate sauce, done. Our guys of our biryani should be ready by now, let's check this. Bismillah. Have a look at that, it smells so good. I'm just gonna add some of the ghee on the top, trust me it looks so good. Maybe one of the best chicken biryani that you're gonna try. I'm just gonna move this layer to the side, carefully. Let's have a look at those rice. So, so delicious. Our amazing chicken biryani, done. Our guess of our amazing chicken is done. It looks so delicious. Our guess, let's plate up our biryani. Here with your rice. Let's set our chicken. And finally some of our sauce. You win. I guess I'm gonna try this. Let's try over rice first. It look and it smell amazing. Bismillah. Wow. That is so rich in flavor. It's so, so delicious, trust me. The biryani has been perfectly cooked. It has so, so much flavor, trust me. Let's try with a bit of the sauce. Bismillah. Wow, mm. this combination is perfect. There's so many different flavors I'm finding it hard to describe, but it's so, so delicious, trust me. Let's try with chicken now. The chicken has been perfectly cooked. Let's try it, bismillah. Wow, oh, man, the chicken is so juicy, so, so delicious. I do like some of the cucumber with the biryani, really nice. 
The chicken just falls off the bone. Look at that. Absolutely mouth watering. Let's try the chicken with the rice. Bismillah. I love the lemons and the plums inside mm. the biryani. So tasty. That chicken biryani was amazing. You guys are gonna really enjoy it. Can we please get this video to 5,000 likes? I would really appreciate it. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, make sure you like. Inshallah, see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom. Make for your dad. Make for your family. Enjoy.